This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. We have a really fun After Effects tutorial today because we're going to be creating three different types of liquid effects that can be used in a wide variety of your motion graphic projects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we're going to break this video into three different parts. In the first part, we're going to talk about creating a liquid transition. Then we're going to talk about creating a liquid text. And lastly, talking about creating liquid motion graphics that can be added to any motion graphics project. So before we jump into our video, I want to say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. So in our first technique, we're going to talk about creating liquid transitions that can be used to reveal on your scene or tie two scenes together. Alright, so to get started here in After Effects, we'll grab the rectangle tool here at the top. And then we'll draw out a rectangle the size of our composition like this. Fantastic. Now, what we can do here is hit PR keyboard for position, add our keyframe here, and we'll just keyframe forward in time, maybe to like a second, maybe a little past it. And we'll bring this all the way over to one of the sides of our comp. Like this. Perfect. So we'll just get that. All right. So now what we'll do is we'll go to Effect Distort, and we're going to grab the main effect of this tutorial, which is Turbulent Displace. Okay. And let's increase the amount up to like 150 to 180. Then let's change the displacement to twist. Nice. So we have this animation here. And one thing I want to do now is alt click the stopwatch for evolution. And we're going to type in time asterisk 200. And then we'll click off this. So then this will give us extra animation. And now we'll just have this. So what we'll do here is go to edit duplicate. So we'll create a duplicate of our shape layer. And then we'll change the color of our fill. Maybe we'll go to like white. And we can offset this in time by a little bit. Maybe like a frame or so. And now you get a little bit more detail in that. And then we do the same thing. Duplicate this. Offset it in time. Change the color here at the top. Maybe we'll just do black this time. That's cool. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate this layer again. And make it a dark background color for your title or whatever. So this will be our background. And click OK. And we'll move this. All right, so now we have a liquid transition and it also turns into a really cool background. So now that we know how to do liquid transitions, now let's talk about creating liquid text. All right, so I've put my text in here and now I want to animate this to be a liquid, you know, fill up. So what we'll do here is grab the rectangle tool again. And this time we'll just draw out a thin rectangle like this, not bigger than the text, just keep it nice and thin like so. Then what we'll do is go back into our first, you know, one of our turbulent displaces and let's just copy it and paste it to our new layer here and let's just change the color of this so we see what we're doing okay that's fine all right cool so this is what we'll have and then let's go ahead and hit pr keyboard for position let's add a keyframe for it and let's move this one downward so it's not touching the text at all and then we'll move forward in time and be like past the second or so here and we'll animate the y to fill up all the way past our title then what we'll do here is grab our text layer go to layer pre-compose and just call it text click okay then let's toggle switch in the modes until you see the track map and for our text layer, set this to alpha matte. So now we'll have this animation. And we're getting a little bit liquid in there, but we'll go ahead and work on this. So first, if we want to, uh, we can go to Effect, Generate, Fill. And we can just change the color of our title to whatever color we want. And then we'll take both these layers and we'll duplicate them. Nice. And then we can take the top layer, the shape layer, and just offset it in time by a frame or so. Then let's go back to our text layer and let's change the color. Nice. Then we'll go ahead and duplicate this one more time. And then let's go into the shape layer. Go in the contents, go to the rectangle one, go in the path one, break the chain for size and increase the Y and make it really big. That's fine. Then go ahead and go to the text layer and make it back to the original color. So I'll just keep it at white and that's fine. Then of course, make sure to just offset these layers in time by a little bit. So now if you offset those layers in time correctly, you'll have something like this and that looks pretty cool. Nice little liquid fill up for our title. And then when we're done, we'll go ahead and grab our layers here and we'll pre-compose them and we'll call it liquid title. So with text out of the way, let's talk about our last technique, which is about creating liquid motion graphics. 
So before we create our own motion graphics, I want to say that we have a lot of tutorials on creating individual motion graphics that can be added to spruce up the scene. So if you want to learn more about motion graphics after watching this tutorial, I'll link a few in the description if you really want to take your projects to the next level. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll get started off by creating, say, just an ellipse here. We'll grab the ellipse tool here at the top, go to word fill. We'll set this to none. Click OK. Go to word stroke. Set it to solid color. And we can grab any color we want. That's fine. And I'll draw out a perfect circle like this. We can increase the stroke width and center this up. All right, then we'll go into our shape layer that we created, go to add, and let's add a trim paths. Let's open this up and set the end to 0%. We'll add a keyframe for end. We'll move forward maybe by a second or so, set it to 100%. We'll go back to almost the first keyframe there, add a keyframe for start, go past the last end keyframe, and set the start to 100%. And if you want to, you know, make this a little bit longer in size, you can just bring back the start keyframes and then make all the keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard. Then as before, we'll just go and copy the turbulent displace effect and we'll just paste it on here. And now we have a very subtle, simple circle motion graphic that, you know, is a liquid type graphic. And if you want, you can make the stroke width even smaller. So it's not so intrusive. So we can do a variety of different axis motion graphics. We can just do like a straight line if you want to you know, bring that stroke width down. We can quickly just copy those trim paths with all the keyframes and just paste them into this layer and copy that turbulent displace, put that in there. And now we have a little bit more, you know, liquid accent graphics in here and you can easily just combine them with your main composition. You know, of course you can get very specific with this. So you can just add a variety of detailed accent graphics, which makes it way much better than you know, just create some very simple. See, that's a little bit more complex. So one tool I use for After Effects to help me save a lot of time when it comes to working with motion graphics and titles is I use an extension called Toko, which has over like 1,400 pre-made motion graphics, and it comes with its own interface within After Effects right here. So for example, within this pack of 1,400 elements, titles, transitions, and backgrounds, and so much more, I'm able to take a look at these shape motion graphics. I can come here and find a motion graphic that I like, preview it, and click apply. And now I have this motion graphic template applied to our composition really quick and apply our liquid effect and we have some additional liquid motion graphics in here. And within this pack, you know, it doesn't just come with shape elements. We obviously have pre-made title animations that we can automatically bring into our compositions. We have tons of lower thirds and even device templates where you can, you know, change out the screen of a phone or a computer and it goes up to logo reveals. So there's so much in this pack. So if you want to learn more about Toko and how this works with After Effects and all the templates that are within this pack, you can check our links in the video description. So there are three liquid motion graphic techniques that should be able to be applied to a wide variety of your upcoming projects. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials like this every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.